Are you a QuickBooks desktop user and you've been getting notifications that you need to upgrade, that it is being discontinued and you're wondering, what does that mean for you? You are in the perfect place. This video is for you. I'm Candace Camper, if we've never met before, and I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. And I've been getting this message over and over again. So I'm creating a video because there's some misinformation on the internet. QuickBooks is doing a discontinuation. This is something they do every single year year every three years they discontinue it in the past so this is actually something that's normal um, but it's making people very nervous so let's get it figured out for you are you wondering what is quickbooks desktop in case you're an online user and you're not sure every now and then someone's not sure which version they're using this is what desktop looks like you install it on your computer and you access it straight from your computer all right so let's talk about it what is the discontinuation basically what happened in 2021 they change the way that QuickBooks works. It's now an annual subscription. You pay every single year. The subscription is close to 550 by tax and all that. Let's just call it $600, which is about $50 a month. Let's talk business, right? Think about business. What is it helping you make decisions whenever you're thinking about it? Do you have to upgrade to the new subscription, the annual model? The answer is no or maybe. Let's talk about why you would want to upgrade or why you wouldn't. So. The discontinuation policy has always existed. They always are expiring the old ones that used to last for three years. So what happens is, is as of May 31st, anybody who's using QuickBooks desktop 2020 or older will not be able to use some of the functionalities, which is being able to process payroll, do the live support, get the online backups or online banking. Okay, so those specific functionalities are going away. They always have after three years, okay? So because you bought in 2020, 2023 is the last year that you can use it. Do you have to upgrade to the new annual subscription? You can, just know that if you do and you wanna process payroll, do the live online, all those things, you can still use desktop and switch over. You don't have to switch to online. You just are gonna pay every single year to access it. Now in the past, if you didn't upgrade, you could still always open your file. With the newer versions, the annual subscription, if you don't pay, you will not be able to open your file. I've done videos on this before, but I just wanna make sure I mention that before you say, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade. If you are processing, pay processing payroll, unless you're gonna go outside of Intuit to process your payroll, go outside services, you will need to upgrade to desktop or switch to online. If you do wanna to switch to online, let me share with you. You can go to canvascamper.com forward slash QBO. And we have a trial. It's a 30 day trial for free. And then it's a discount for 12 months. A couple other things that I do want to make sure you know about some other changes that are coming up is I just got an email from Intuit yesterday that speaks to if you're a point of sale, they are expiring the point of sale. There's some other options. Read your email if you are using point of sale and find out more about what's happening and what the changes are. So I'm curious. Are you going to switch to the annual subscription? Are you going to keep your old one? Or think about going to online? Let me know in the comments. And if you're thinking, I really like to know the difference between online and desktop. Do you have any trainings available for that? I'm actually hosting my customizing QuickBooks workshop this month. I'm going to be doing it live. So make sure you save your seat. I show examples of desktop and online, and, and you can decide if you're thinking about switching to either of them which one you like best. And you can also ask more questions there. And if you're thinking, oh my gosh, it's tax time, and I'm determined that I'm finally gonna get my QuickBooks figured out so that I can make decisions when you're using your QuickBooks and that tax time can be easier, make sure you also attend my customizing QuickBooks workshop because I'm gonna be talking about starting with the end in mind and understanding how to read your reports and which features to be using to save you time. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and let me know, did it help you? Are you feeling a little bit better about this discontinuation that you may not even need to switch? Or if you do need to upgrade, reach out to me. We have a reseller, an Intuit reseller, that if you want to keep using desktop, but you can't find it anywhere, we have a resource for you. You can email me or our team, support at canvascamfort.com. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you inside my next tip and trick. Have a great day. Bye.